Bloomies are forever. Hi everyone, it's Melissa. I'm Bear. And today we are looking at the things I picked up during my first thrift haul. Okay, that's the answer to today's video mystery. Okay, what's the mystery? Well, the mystery was I wasn't sure what we were doing. Bear said all of this up without knowing what we were doing. Well, you said you wanted to do a video, so yeah. that, that part I knew, but <laughs> Don't we love him? Okay, well, anyways. So I dropped off a script at the pharmacy and they said it was going to be about a half hour. Did I want to wait? Did I want to come home and go back? And I was like, oh, it was a script. Bear usually takes care of all of our prescriptions, but it was a script that we were having trouble getting. And I didn't want to let it go too far from my sight, so I said I was going to wait. I got in the car, right where the turnaround is, the turnabout, some people call it. There's a Goodwill. So I went over to Goodwill. I had my mask on hand, but honestly, I don't think I used it maybe 25% of the time. And found some treasures, which is what you're going to see now. Mm -hmm. Pull one of the bags over. And these? Sure. The whole thing or just the top? Just the top bag. Okay. We'll go small. All right. Here we go. So a new thing Goodwill started, we've never had this before, blue tags are 50% off. They just started that? They just started that. Our Goodwill has well, never had any kind of sale. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to be too disparaging to Goodwill, but this particular Goodwill, they can certainly do that because their prices are ridiculous. Yeah, their prices are really, yes. really high. I didn't yes. even go in the, the boutique, boutique section because there was just no point. The, the clothing outside was like $20 for a dress, <laughs> like a, an Ann Taylor. It doesn't even matter. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you what, what I got you. Got so, you. Uh, well, Us. so are, are all the stuff that we're currently viewing the 50% pile? No. Oh, okay. No. All right. <laughs> so this is a label I don't find often. It's Citron, mm -hmm. C-I-T-R-O-N, Santa Monica, 3X, fantastic label oh really that's a good label very high-end label they had this one marked at 4.99 and i'm shocked so can you tell me what might be comparable to that that i would have that i would have any idea about maybe i have no idea no matter what <sighs> you say but like it probably is... retails for about three to five hundred. Oh, okay so it's way above like to me, Ann Taylor, is Ann Taylor a big deal? <laughs> Ann Taylor is a, I mean, they have stores. So yeah, but I'm saying, is that, well is that like, is that, is that a high, is as high end as this? Ann oh, Taylor? no, Ann Taylor that's sells for like 40 to 100. So that's what I meant. So I don't yeah. really know a name that would be comparable to this problem. Not really. Okay. It's not couture, couture, but it's, it's up there. Now this does have a few little marks, mm -hmm. but honestly, so, it will detract from the overall value, the reselling value, but it's still totally worth it. What What is this material? Silk, I'm assuming. Oh. Rayon silk. I don't know, it feels weird. Silk. Okay, so there's that piece. Then we found our second of that label. So this one is the black label. Somebody put a dry cleaning tag over it. Oh, that was that wasn't on purpose that just happened to be there and they didn't take it off or something correct okay citron Santa oh, it's another one. yes mm -hmm. this one is a size three so the three is the three x but there, go ahead a three x and the three is not the same is it it is it is yes so this one is actually a three x this yes. one is the black label and it's a three okay so these are probably donated by the same person why why is there two different numbers good question the i think they updated their label so what would be the newest one then? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So a few flaws on this one too. And the flaws are in, unfortunate because they're right on the, the top seam. Mm -hmm. There's one there and then two more here. Yeah. So the fabric has started to shed. However, it's fairly close to the seam that the, if somebody wanted to work on it, they could pick that seam up, stitch underneath it, and then lay it down. You would never see it. Okay. So they'd raise that area by about an inch. So you wouldn't do that before you try to sell it? Oh, my goodness, no. Because you don't do that. I would have a tough time doing that justice. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's a matter of somebody skilled sewer should yeah. do that. Yeah. For okay. silk, mm, if it was cotton, I might be able to get away with it. But a silk, I'm just going to let it go. So a silk is harder to sew than mm -hmm. cotton? It's much more delicate. Oh, okay. So those were those two pieces. They wanted $4.99 each. I'm assuming this Goodwill has 
people that specifically are trained to look up every item of clothing, every artwork, every everything that goes on their shelves, on eBay and on Google. So there's people behind the scenes. I'm guessing they either didn't have that person today or didn't look up the right keywords. Okay. Because that would have never been that price. Okay. Okay. This label is St. James. Okay. Made in France. Mm -hmm. Look, if it didn't have the label, this looks like any t-shirt anywhere in the world. I would agree. Gap, Old Navy, Walmart. Mm -hmm. yes. However, it is the St. James label. It has that little St. James patch. These retail for over $100 and the resale value is pretty strong. I would imagine this shirt would bring me about $25, even with a little bit of pilling to the cotton. Now, if it was navy blue and white, it might do a little better, but the green and white would still, I'm going to guess, bring $20, $25. That's uh, close to a vintage Mopar color. Really? Yeah, it's lime green. There was... Uh, Made a lot of cars in the 70s, I guess, lime green. That was no, I what should, they I called it? I shouldn't say a lot. Yeah, that's the official name of it, yes. Lime green. But like you'll see every once in a while a Roadrunner or a Superbird in that lime green color. Huh, mm -hmm. very interesting. Yeah. They also wanted $4.99 for this shirt. $4.99 is still too high, in my opinion, yes. for like a broken for goodwill. cotton t-shirt. Yeah, but, but whatever. I mean, okay. This next, I picked it up I put it down you'll see why the fabric is the itchiest <laughs> of all fabrics well you're not gonna have to wear it so no but even touching it I hate it but I mean there are people that won't mind this at all right no they'll love it yeah. okay it's wool angora it's a vintage label mm -hmm. s-h-a-n-n-a-n -N -N. shannon Shannon. size medium lamb's wool which is wool <laughs> angora which is a rabbit hair Oh. Nylon, nylon, made in Hong Kong. So, so angora is is a type of rabbit, or that's all what they refer to rabbit hair as angora. Mm, you know what I mean? I think it's a type of rabbit. Mm. So it's an angora rabbit. Yes. Okay. So it's in excellent condition. What I do for wool pieces is I look up toward the ceiling, and if I see any holes, it'll come through nicely. Mm -hmm. So I check this piece a whole bunch because I really didn't want to walk away with it. But the dogs on the front. Do you see the dogs? I do see the dogs, yes. Somebody's going to love this. Yes. And I'm going to price this probably $64.99, $74.99. It could be a dress on somebody smaller, like a tunic, I should say. It is a size medium, vintage $4.99. So all four of those pieces were $4.99. Okay. And you reminded me of my first musical reference of yes, these, this video. You held that, you said you hold it up so you can see the light coming mm -hmm. through? Okay, an old blues song, one of which I've sang uh, in the past, is Shake, Rattle, and Roll. One of the lines from Shake, Rattle, and Roll is, the way, <laughs> the way you wear those dresses, the sun comes shining through. Oh. You understand what he's getting at by that? Her dress is see-through? Yes. Oh, she's wearing a see-through dress. Well, I mean, that's just, you know, that's yeah. part of the lyric. Like, Maybe she's at... A beach and it's just a cover-up so well, it's absolutely well, fine at any at any rate the person who's singing the song has no problem at all with the sun shining well, sure but <laughs> hopefully the woman doesn't either yes 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 it isn't an accident <laughs> I, was, I was reaching for a bag not oh, okay. to get your high five all right <laughs> okay next bag that would be a low five anyways uh, we have some more clothing none of that was blue tag this is $1.99. These are pants. soft surroundings, size 3X pants. To have these be $1.99 is ridiculous in my mind because these probably retailed for $80, $90, $100. So you're saying it was too low? It was way too low. It was too low. I, like all the other sweatpants were like $3.99, $4.99, and then this pair got away with being $1.99, and I don't know why. Well, is that something you would wear? That looks like it something is, you would, except which is too it, big. I, well, <laughs> it's too big, but I don't care about that. I'm not going to wear them because I can sell them for probably like $30, $40. Okay, good. And right now I'm wearing boxer shorts. I wasn't, 
and I wouldn't wear something like this. <laughs> well, I wasn't necessarily saying yeah. you should. I'm just saying that is something you would have. Oh, for sure. Wear, though, because... Love the. I don't know about the material. Is the only. Well, it feels pretty. Well, it's not cotton, which it's we love. It's not cotton. I, I couldn't tell you what it was. But it's it is a, pretty soft, though. It is very soft. Mm -hmm. So I should be able to. To get thirty, forty dollars out of those. Mm -hmm. Now this I am keeping. I have been needing a cover up, like a beach cover up dress for a while. I only have one. This was blue tag. It was six ninety nine because all dresses are six ninety nine, but with the half off, it was three fifty. It's my size. I mean, oh. it's a little bit bigger than my size. It's a medium. It's your color. It's my color. It's got seashells. It's cotton. Mm -hmm. I love it. Fresh produce to the rescue. That's the name of that? Mm -hmm. Fresh, Fresh produce. produce. And that's a decent tag too? It's very decent. I should be able to, if I didn't want to keep it, and I tend to trash my things. Like my trash, my things go through the wash and dryer and wash and dryer and I don't care about them. The aqua sweater is a prime example. I don't know how many, much more life it has <laughs> left on it. It just keeps washing it and washing after it. After I, I fold it, when it comes out of the wash, it's like, mm, I don't know, man. <laughs> but it keeps lasting. It's it amazing. Has holes all through it though. Yeah, I would be able to get probably like twenty, twenty-five dollars yeah. for that. So I'll definitely keep that. Okay. okay, last bag. The whole thing? Whole thing. Okay. One for you. Okay. One for me. <laughs> Don't open them. So these were 99 cents. They are a balloon and rubber band race car kit okay so it includes everything necessary to build this race car kit i got you race car mm -hmm. and my my niece who's 11 i asked her specifically because i send care packages to her every single month for years now i said what do you want in your care packages and she said balloons <laughs> and i said regular balloons like she could have asked for anything she's like yeah so i picked up balloons i then picked up balloon animals and this will be the third third item so i thought of her immediately i figured that's who it was for when i saw the balloons yeah but when you say balloon animals you mean you picked up the, the skinny balloons that you can make into balloon yes. animals okay and a little pump okay I got um so i'll send one of these to her and she can make one the second one i saw on the other side and it was also 99 cents so what do you think about sending them to and her and her dad could race them i think that's an excellent idea or the second one could be gifted to either Jason, our neighbor, or one of our Patreon members has a son about that same age range. I can include one in theirs. Yeah, well, give it to a Patreon then. Definitely. Okay, Definitely. Patreon member. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That way we get to make two people happy. Yeah, right? Yeah. Thanks. And Dutch can take Tima's and race it himself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sure her dogs will go wild with it. <laughs> two pairs of shoes. Both half off. I was there for about an hour and this is all I had found. The first one are my size. They are N-A-O-T, size 40. That's a European size. It's about a size nine. Really good shape, black leather. I was wondering if this said the, nope. Um, how much originally do you think these would have been? Well, I mean, these, feel substantial i don't know if that means anything but sure. okay I'll, I'll say uh you know 39.99 oh okay they probably retailed for close to about 1 125 i would assume <laughs> okay. so, so goodwill wanted 9.99 i bought them for five they're very comfortable i appreciate the comfort a lot <laughs> but you you won't keep you no, you have no use them. for this nope the next Pair are a pair I don't find this brand often. I'll give one to you. Okay. And these were $14.99. Half off though was $7.50. Do you see the name on them? Uh, no, mine's covered up with a sticker. On the bottom? How about the bottom? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Fly London. Is that right? Fly, yes. Fly London. Okay. So these retail for about the same, uh, maybe 150 Are these actually from, I mean, they're made in London? Is they're that the made deal? in London. Okay. And or they used to be. And Fly is the name of the company? Mm-hmm. They make more than this one shoe? 
They make shoes. They make shoes. That's yes. what I'm saying. They might make other things at this point, but they're known for their shoes. Well, I just mean they make different styles of shoes. Correct. But they're always kind of like a sturdy, well-made shoe. Yeah. Oh, well, this looks like something like a professional could wear, but it would still be comfortable. Yes. Right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Usually people wear them with um, very fun outfits. So like polka dot tights and gloves and they're very eclectic usually. They're not like... They could be nurse shoes, for instance, but they're usually not okay. nurse shoes. All right. <laughs> well, have you tried this? Nope. Uh, do we have anything to wipe it off? Was there anything in it? Nope. Oh, oh, so we just have to try. Okay, well, this is something you're going to put in your bathroom, correct? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Well, that's a problem there. That's never, I saw that. Yeah, that's never going to work. Uh, well, that's, I, no, it might just be little pieces on it. Well, we'll give it a shot. Well, it smells wonderful already. Yeah, and it's it's a white marble, I'm guessing. It, it yeah. weighs a ton. It's probably yeah. like two pounds. Um, and it has the little feet on it. Yes. That would have been fairly expensive, wouldn't it? Because I it's marble. So. I mean, marble is yeah. expensive. Yeah, it was an orange tag. Yeah. Um, and it was $2.99. I really Mine went to your bathroom when my mom was here. Yes. And there it stayed. And you gave me, only because you, you gave me your bottle. You've been pouring out of a bottle? <laughs> well, no, I haven't been. You said you didn't need a pump. You were pouring it out of a bottle. Yeah. I don't really need a pump either, but you left it in there. So thank you. It's good to have two pump soaps in our house for when guests come. And guests come like every other month on average. Okay. Like probably... <clears throat> Five to seven, eight times a year we have guests at this point. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah. um, so it'd be really good not to be moving around the one pump soap. So this is this seems nice. It, it doesn't even have like rust on it or anything. No, it seems very nice, yes. So I'm very excited about my two ninety nine pump soap. Yes. So it goes well with our decor as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's nice and heavy, so I won't have to like yes. hold it. Yes. Yeah. Drop well, it. Well, I don't, I mean, mine's actually under my cabinet. Mine's not even sitting out. Oh, isn't it? No. You hide yours. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. Um, everything came to $52 because I round up for their cause. Was that thunder? Yes, that is thunder. You may hear in the background. Okay. So this had no price tag. So I had the lady go look it up for me. It has some issues. It's Radley, R-A-D-L-E-Y. I've recognized Radley. Um, this kind of style, this wipe off of bull material with the okay. Scotty dogs, mm -hmm. it's fairly well known. This would have retailed, thanks, yeah. for about 150 ish. And it comes with the little mini pouch, pouchette. So they came back. It does have, um, I don't know if you'll be able to get this off, paint. Splashes? Okay. Well, Do you think you'll be able to? Maybe well, I'll give it a shot. It's not a big deal because the whole bag is like covered in them. Somebody brought this to paint with. Well, you wouldn't even know though because of wouldn't. the bag. I mean, the but... pattern helps so much. So even if we don't, and I think we could probably still get like thirty nine ninety nine. So she came back with the price of three ninety nine. Okay. Sold. Um, I don't know if this is the actual name, but these are. What I would refer to as a Scotty dog. Is that a breed? Scottish Terrier. Oh, Scottish Terrier. Okay. But most people call them Scotty dogs. Scotty dogs, yes. The reason I know that is because my uncle, who you've heard me reference before, Uncle Leo, who I refer to as Uncle Luca, had a trailer, a pool trailer that was a Scotty. Oh. Okay, and those are still like vintage. They're vintage trailers now. Like people get those and restore them, these little travel trailers. Very cool. Yeah. So overall, I think we did really well. I picked up something we needed, like the marble um, pump. Yep. pump. Mm -hmm. A few pairs of shoes, a few pairs, uh, pairs, a few things we can give away. I guess it is a pair, the oh, race car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And a dress for me. Good. I was wearing I'll that long this. cover up. You can put more in it. For, for the beach, uh -huh. that one that goes to like the floor. Sure. But this will be an extra, a nice one to have. I think we can kind of just... I think you're right. So I should do quite well. And I'm not really selling clothing that often anymore. So any kinds of things like that. Um, I'll have prices on the bottom of the screen. And you can email me directly. 
And if you can remember, probably a time stamp would be good. Oh yeah, that would be helpful. If you can say. Although if you're like soft surroundings pants, I only have one pair of pants. Okay. It's, it's a fairly easy thing today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next little thing. I just realized we don't have scissors. Hmm. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> um, can we rip them or not? You can try. Don't rip the address though, because I'd like to send thank yous. Okay. Three people sent us, oh, I recognize this one, um, packages. Well, here's the first one. I don't know about those other ones. But. Okay, so let's go one by one. Okay. Something to brighten your day. Your videos bring joy to my day. It's really hard when you have a disability that It's really hard when you have a disability that I know I can really see just by looking at you. I know too well how it feels. CHF 25%. So I'm guessing she has a chronic heart failure with lots of complications. Mm. I'm amazed at everything you were able to do. Amazing. Your friend Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. And I'm sorry to hear that your heart isn't doing so well. Yes. As you're watching this, I hope you're feeling better. And if not, there's always tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> and a friend of mine from Pennsylvania yes. recently just had a oh. heart transplant. Yes. And he's doing really well. He was out of ICU and I think maybe three or four days he's going to be coming home. So Amazing. Yeah. Good job, Joey. Yes. Pretty paper. Yeah. Look, do we have paper similar to that? We, had, we do have similar <laughs> paper. As the primary folder of paper, I recognize. <laughs> There's now our, yeah, he's folding paper constantly at this point. Magnet, that which does not kill us makes us stronger. Love it. Love the saying, love the colors. Thank you. Sticky notes, sweets needed for today. Ah, nice. This will be for bear. <laughs> And stickers, cherish, love, and cherish. I cherish you. Mm. Pop up stickers. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Yes. Okay. I ripped this one open with my own hands. Whoa. Tough girl. This is from Remy, I think. Yes. Okay. Let's see if I can open it. Well, you have scissors now. Isn't it? I do, <laughs> but now it's just the purpose of it, the challenge of it. Okay. Here's, you know, this is a note. Or something. Oh. Your writing is insane. That's her writing. I know. It looks like it's a printed out, right? That's why you put, it off the, you put it off the side. It was like a printed thing. That's amazing. Yeah. Dear Melissa, I love your videos. Your videos help me relax, especially with all that is going on in the world. I'm just going to be amazed for a while at this writing. I currently live in Santa Monica, but have been staying with my parents in Vegas since COVID shutdowns. Mm -hmm. I also sell online. I sell a Macari. My username is, I'll put it in the thing, it's Remy underscore I-N-D-A-C-I-U-B. Find me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube too. I took a break from selling for a while, but picked back up since being stuck at home. I've been selling my old handbags and I'm now getting into reselling. Nice handwriting continues. <laughs> I wanted to send a few goodies. I don't ship and sell nearly as many orders as you. However, I hope to get to your level. <laughs> Enjoy these few goodies. Stay safe and healthy. Best, Remy. If you ever make it out to California, come shop at Jet Rag Clothing in Los, Los Angeles. They have a $1 sale on Sundays. Wow. Oh, that's very fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, we've told... Uh before about how we used to travel a lot before you got sick yeah and we actually have been in santa monica we have been yes because one of the reasons i wanted to go there is because that's where the arnold and lou and all those guys trained outdoors uh for a long time okay yeah. i don't remember going oh you don't there, remember but... going? oh it's on santa monica pier it's called the pit they have the weights outside and all these you know big okay. bodybuilders trained there very cool we haven't traveled in a long long time we have made little trips here and there to see how my body can handle it the answer is usually not great <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but we are starting to plan our next little see how I do so we'll keep you posted about that this is such a cute bag I'm totally keeping this bag mm -hmm. it says best day ever yes it's very fun <laughs> so cute it's from Hallmark 
Oh, oh, a little sea turtle. <laughs> That's those things that you can change. I use these as package toppers. I love giving small gifts too. Thanks, Remy. That's those things you can go the opposite way with, right? Like magic that. sequins, magic. Ooh, look, we'll put it that way. And no I'm sorry for the weird bag. I don't do drugs, I swear. <laughs> weird bag? That's not a weird bag. <laughs> it's hysterical. Oh, oh, this, this little thing. Oh, okay. I thought she meant this. I would never have thought that. Okay, there's like little thank you pewter charms. They're a little hard. Okay. So, as as apparently neither one of us are familiar with the drugs too much because <laughs> why why would a little bag like this is like, like some is drugs? Is it the smiley faces? Or does some like comes in a little bag like it's because it's powder or something? You know, small amount. It's I expensive. have no idea. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to look into that. No, no. we're not going to do that. Um, little mini tags. Thank you. And this looks like some twine in different colors. Wow, your wrapping skills are amazing. I wonder if this person's house is like super neat because of the wrapping and the printing. The printing. Oh, yeah. I really might use that as a template to see if I can get my letters to look like that. Oh, there's more. <laughs> oh, this looks like the poly bags. I've never owned these poly bags. They're like a black, I think they're black and white with the arrow. I wonder if this is pack chic. Let me see, who makes these? Inspired mailers. Very nice, I like the glossiness of them. So, who, what is that word, name you said? Is that somebody's name? Pack, uh, pack chic, pack me chic is, is a brand. Oh, brand of poly yeah. mailers? Uh huh, okay. I was trying to remember what brand of poly mailers And what are. kind of poly mailers do we usually have? Oh, just different. Just whatever. I buy from okay. everybody. Very pretty, thank you bags for jewelry. Okay. You can use these customs forms for labels in an emergency. <laughs> Love you so much. In an emergency? Yes. What, what type of label emergency would one come I across? I run out of labels way oh. sooner than you would okay. think. Okay. So what you do is you just write out it the, uh -huh. and you just stick it in here. It's like a pocket. Okay, it's great. Yeah, I like it. I was just trying to, in my mind, what an emergency label thing was. We have them, believe it or not. That's so cute. I love that everything was labeled. That's so funny. Thank you so much, Remy. Thank you. And last one we are opening is from E Kids Things LLC. Hmm. I don't know if this is somebody who knows us. Occasionally, I just get like um, random makeup palettes or just random things sent from companies. I'm like, okay. Melissa, okay, they know us. This looks cute. Thank you. Thank you for being such a ray of sunshine during this crazy time. I love, love watching your videos while I am working. I hope you can use these in your packaging. Alicia. And yet another good printer. Uh, yeah, right? really. Oh my goodness, these are so stinking cute. Look how cute those are. These are just blanks? I think so. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They look kind of vintage and they look almost like somebody colored on them with a crayon. They're cute. She has a little dog in her hand. There's pale yellow. Oh, it must have been brand new. She sent me like the insert. Mm. Thank you so much. And there's more. Oh, you know I can use these. I go through these, all of my jewelry, almost all of it gets put in one of these. Oh, so. the little bags. Yeah. And even the ones that get put in boxes, the boxes fit perfectly in these. So thank you so much. They're a so little bigger much. than some of the ones you have too. Yeah. That'll be good. This size is great. I go through these probably the most. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yes. I'll take pictures of address labels. And that way I can get cards sent out. That's the end of the planned part of this video. Oh, there's more? There's more. Okay, so the mystery continues? Sure. Okay. The mystery is you. I'm the mystery? Uh-huh. Okay, what's, what am I doing? Tell us what you've been up to. Since you've been out of work now for <laughs> oh. April, May, June, July. Well, have we told like anyone the saga of my finger? I can't remember. You can briefly say it. I'll briefly say... My finger, I was working on an exhaust fan. 
that was going bad in one of the bathrooms and I, one of the wires wasn't long enough so I was splicing the wire. So if you've ever spliced the wire, you know that sometimes they just let go all of a sudden and that's what happened, let go and my finger went across the metal piece and I had to have nine stitches in there but it, it's healed amazingly well. Mm -hmm. And not only that, like it, there's no problem at all because I'm always paranoid. First thing I hurt my hands about being play, play guitar and stuff. So everything's fine there. Yeah, so you can play guitar and we're very, bend it we're, back yes, and forth. Yes, we're very glad that it And I got to take out stitches. Yes. My girl operated on me. I didn't have to go back to the hospital. Yeah, sign me up for that job, please. Right. I love stitches right. taking outing. Mm -hmm. uh, what else can we tell them? Well, we can certainly tell them. Can we tell them about our chairs? Our chairs we're currently sitting on? Sure. Well, perhaps in the past we have shown, or maybe you could insert a picture yeah, sure. of chairs that we have purchased specifically for filming for you folks out yes. there in video land so we found these chairs which were cool they were and like i said we'll show them to you they're blue like a suede and a pink and and everything and we thought we got a pretty decent deal on them we thought well these would be great these unfortunately <laughs> for some reason they're so squeaky and it's not the wheels it's it's actually i think the mount how they mount and i've done it i mean i've done wd-40 i've done regular motor oil i specifically went out and bought this silicone spray for and they just crack and around so so both of us are a little fidgety so we found out when we were recording it's just like here all this creaking so we're, yeah. so we decided to get another chair to match the other the one we already had and they're just two black you know, However, I thought chairs. I bought the same exact chair because I was yes. on the same exact website and I was like, this is our chair. I was looking yeah. and like, sure enough, 99% of it is our chair. Yeah, it looks, yeah. And and I thought I remember the name. I don't know if they've updated it. It's not the exact chair, but it's really, really close. Close enough. And it doesn't squeak. It doesn't squeak. So yes. Now we have we'll to. We'll keep it. Because I do, we both use chairs. This is like, we just want an extra one. We use yeah. at the desk and then, you know, with my, with my tissue folding business I roll we got in another like 10,000 sheets of <laughs> tissue paper I'm going through about 2,000 sheets of tissue paper a month yeah well that thanks to all of you patreon people that yeah. are subscribing to those and we're I think we have 80 something subscribers and each one of you gets um, a different level of subscription box if you didn't know we we now run a shipping supply company oh, well, subscription box <laughs> I mean just briefly tell them what Patreon is too. So Patreon you know. is a website. You can support us for $2 a month up to $35 a month. The 35 so is sold out. We have no plans on expanding the 35 But most of them come with rewards. There's a $7 le le level, level, which you get a letter every month from us and just a little thing here and there. $15, you get 30 sheets of tissue paper, Jillson Roberts tissue paper. Mostly everybody's doing the $28 level. I think we have like 42 or 44 people at that point. Here we go. Rain coming. Rain coming. Um, and so that gets tissue, paper, poly mailers, ribbons, package toppers, some extra reseller tools. And it's theme based, loosely theme based. I want to be able to have you guys, if you don't have enough sales, Unfortunately, one month you can roll it over and use the supplies another month. So that's our most popular and and we're doing pretty well. Yes, At the thank, beginning thank last year when we had like three people, we were like, we we're wondering if we could build this and now I'm buying supplies in the thousands, like the tissue paper that just came. It was so fun to open the boxes and see the different print. Yes, well, and there's going to have to be some rearranging in our... 1200 square foot yes. <laughs> <laughs> condo to accommodate our current supply of things that we need to do but we'll find a way to do that yeah yeah you so. did, you've done great mm -hmm. so that's what we've been doing these last few days i've just been exhausted and i've slept but we have been able to get to the beach a few times yes it's officially beach weather here. officially beach weather and the gulf of mexico is not shockingly cold which is perfect for us well, because we are both wimps i mean yeah i mean we should probably say what real beach weather is for us and real beach weather for other people <laughs> so, like People have been at the beach for the whole Months. month or yeah, yeah, whatever. So, but we like it to be like bathwater when we walk in. So it yeah. has to be really cold. Like literally we were, was it yesterday we were at the beach? Yesterday? We were at the beach yesterday. Yesterday at the beach. It was 92 and both of us go, yeah, it's a little bit colder than what we like. Yeah. Anytime the wind 
blue and yeah. your skin was out of the water, you were just yeah. like, oh, I wish I had a blanket. Yeah. I mean, you can see the trials that we go through here. <laughs> you know, I mean, 92 degrees, you know, come on. And so, yeah. And also, I, you did ask me, I didn't really answer the question about what I've been doing as far yeah. as singing wise. I've only had one post COVID gig at a retirement home, and uh, which was fine, but the reason this particular job happened was because they have a screened in porch. So I was outside of the screened in porch, and you know, of course, they could hear me singing. And it was like, private, so it private wasn't home, yes. Yeah, it was their decision, but that was like truly a one off. Yes, because yeah, most of the other you know corporate retirement homes, Clothes. yeah, there you won't let anybody in at all. And yeah, they, most people have to stay in their room during yeah. the day and get meals delivered to their room, so there's not yes. really any activities even in the house. Yeah, sadly that includes even family. My my aunt is in a uh, retirement home in Pennsylvania, and just like Melissa said, she can't. You know, they bring their meals to them and her daughter can't even get in to see her she's 94 years old yeah like you know so and she's going on month after month of just yeah nothing. so it's really she sad. still seems she seems fine oh yeah, yeah she's she fine i call fine. her i call her and always yeah. you know I, I try to call her fairly regularly and talk to her and she's always happy to hear from me and, yeah and so mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of other things my lidocaine injections are still every two weeks they yeah. called for the next appointment it's two weeks in a day okay um, okay. so that's working well. Okay. Most of my doctors are online at this point. We're not needing to go into all of the offices we normally go into. Which we love that yeah. actually. I mean, yeah, that's great. Why go in if you can do it on a computer? Yeah. They will do some nerve testing because the tops of my fingers have gone numb. Um, so they can test for that. But again, I don't need a test. It's just that for paperwork purposes, it'd be helpful if they could track. It's documented. Yeah, you want to document it. That's stuff what documented. it is. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm still eating ramen. I'm still eating rice cakes 90% of the time. Those are my two foods and mm -hmm. I'm good with those. Yeah. And a stray pizza here and there, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what else? Do you have anything else? Mm. I don't think so. Was I fidgeting? You were fidgeting. Oh, sorry. I was making the noise. The I was making noise. That's why you. Yeah. I knew there was something. I was like, oh, I'm I knew there was some. I knew that. This. I knew there was some message in that. I don't know why. Thing. Why, the table? We need a new table now. Oh no. No. no we don't. Yeah. So at the beginning of next month in July, which is probably close to when you're seeing this, we will be setting up our house as like a shipping station. <laughs> things everywhere which yes. is a lot of fun but takes about three days i would say total to put that many boxes together for us yes and that's because we have some stuff prepared ahead of time yeah you so, do yeah okay. i have to say as somebody with um a disease it is a disease mm -hmm. i don't think about it that often but with somebody with health issues this is a really good job in that I can do what I want most of the time and you are a huge help. But like I can photograph, I can open jewelry, I can sell jewelry, I can package. Like wherever I'm feeling, let's say my lidocaine hasn't happened and I can't sit, I can lay down and like um, edit photos. I can stand up and do things. There's always something that I can do as long as the pain doesn't overwhelm me. When pain gets overwhelming and it's screaming from within your body, of course, there's nothing you can do. But past that, this has allowed me to be more active, I think. Yes, and you're constantly encouraged to not go so long that you hurt. That's true. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, that, like, that doesn't always work. There's like, you've been that for two hours, <laughs> are you sure? And then the next day, I'm like, yeah. why do my arms the next feel so sore? <laughs> Well, sometimes it's not the next day. Sometimes yeah. like, can you rub me? And oh, yeah. Sometimes it gets really I don't mind rubbing you. I yeah. don't mind doing that. It's just that yeah. I don't like to see you get that bad of shape. Yeah. But 90% of the time, I'm doing okay. 90% of the time. Have, I, have we told them about my Pennsylvania trip? Have, did, was that on video anywhere? I can't remember. I can't remember. You can sum it up. Uh, a couple weeks ago or so. <laughs> My girl's mom had to come down for a follow-up uh, doctor appointment and she was going to be here for like three three days from Wednesday to Saturday. That's when the flights go. Uh, so I normally 
would never leave her alone. But since her mom was coming down, I took a trip back to PA and it worked out perfectly because the flight leaves directly from Harrisburg to Sarasota. And so I flew up there and left my car for her. So she flew down and got the car and I used her car and visited some friends. And uh, one of which we already mentioned, uh, my friend uh, had a heart transplant. He hadn't had it when I was there. He was on the waiting list and he was, uh, Carrie, he couldn't go too far from home, so we went to like a local cookout place and had something to eat. And uh, but he got the heart transplant. And he's doing really well, so that's good. And it was fun to see some people. It's fun to see, uh, you know, somehow things have changed and stuff. And with anything, with any kind of change, there's always a bit of good and bad, quote unquote. So some of us a little sad because things aren't the same and people aren't the same. But you know. You got to see the town in which you grew I up did. in and we live. I did. And, and uh, you know, still so a small town. It was good to see some of my friends. They were happy to see me. We had a, a nice time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my mom and I got to just hang out on the couch. And I don't even know if you know this. She brought uh, French fries one night. She kept asking. She's like, what can I make you eat? What can I get you as a mom would? Yes. And she's like, French fries. I'm like, I don't know. And then the second night she brought French fries. So that was sweet. Yes. French fries are something I can eat on occasion without making me too sick. Well, French fries also in particular are not that big. You know what I mean? Like as opposed to pizza. Exactly. <laughs> pizza. Yeah, so that's good. Anything else? I don't think so. I guess that's about it, right? I think that's it. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us. This was more just like a catch up and an open some stuff. That's right. We do plan on going back to the bins. I know that oh, is right. something that people have mentioned they missed. We miss it as well. The bins are still one of my favorite places on earth to go, <laughs> which is very true, but sounds stupid. Well, um, I'm not sure why. Well, we're still just being really careful with you because when you love it so much, we can go anytime. Yeah, you yeah. Know? I mean, it's a lot on my body. Yes, that's true too. And it's also, I have to time it right. And still, we're, we're being really careful still. Yes. I know it doesn't seem like it, but like, this Goodwill trip was the very first time I was in a store for ages. Bear's been doing all the grocery shopping. Past going into the lidocaine doctors, I haven't really been doing too no, much of anything. No, and it's good because you're susceptible to yeah. stuff. So and we're even trying... at the beach, there's our well, beaches yeah. are individually parked. There's no big high-rise parking or anything. So if you can find a spot, you can absolutely stay six feet away from other oh people. Oh, my goodness, for sure, yes. Yeah, yeah. more than that. Yeah. And and we're in the water so again we're being careful but knowing that i'm careful anyway on my everyday life i'm yeah. not just headed out into the world just because my body would stop me quickly well we are trying to be a measure of you know yeah i mean be careful but not be crazy because i mean you could drive we were yourself wiping out crazy. down groceries we were doing all of the things yeah. and now we are being careful still but not yeah we're not wiping every single piece of thing yeah. down like we for a while there we were letters and everything you we go were, out you come in and, and yeah. everything comes off yeah. we wash everything yeah. we were being really strict yeah. as everybody was there sure sure but you know you only do that for so long you know yeah and so we're trying still but yeah. the bins just represent germs to me <laughs> well the bins if the bins even without covid the bins are a little shady because yeah, yeah. i mean it's like the last place before the trash no well i shouldn't say that because you said they do take the whatever and put it in big huge pallets like pallets and sell but, them off some, yeah. some bins yeah there, but yeah. i mean i mean on a, just a glance looking over the place it just looks like a big junkyard really sure you know what i mean so which is why it's yeah. fun <laughs> right but uh, actually now I will have a measure of fun in it for me even is the thing that I mentioned to you is in our laundry room it's really small so our washer and dryer is in there and I have a toolbox there but I always have to push stuff off the side to get a little space to, to uh, fold clothes. I had mentioned to you about in the laundry room we need a little folding table so in the master bathroom we had taken out the original sink and bought a dresser through craigslist that we just refurbished and put a sink on it so it's looked kind of cool mm -hmm. so we could do something similar in the laundry room where if it was the same height as the dryers and stuff which is 36 inches and you know uh, it would give you another cabinet underneath and give me another surface to and we could still and we For have folding yeah we could still move the toolbox to the other side and get rid of the one 
Bear does 99% of our laundry, so I call him the laundry fairy. <laughs> <laughs> he does it at night. It's like usually 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. Yes. And I'm asleep, and yes. then I wake up, and all of the laundry is folded, and most of it's put away. Mm -hmm. As well, the laundry fairy is on early duty this evening because currently there's a load in there that needs to turn back on once we're done filming. Yeah, we turned it off, <laughs> so the loudness yeah. uh, wouldn't bother us, and now, of course, it's pouring. Yeah. Okay, okay. You ready? Good. Bloomies on three. Two, three. Bloomies. We, we hope, hope your day, day is blooming with joy. joy. Bye. Bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy.